Connor, good to be back playing, I would have thought, but a bit of a kick in the teeth at the end, what a, what a way to lose it. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough one to take, to be honest. Obviously, first half I thought it was unbelievable. Uh, very good pace, very good pace set. Um, looked very good, obviously, getting the goal and going 1 0 up. And like you say, it's a very big kick in the teeth to concede one so late, and you know, a little tap in it's. It's a tough one to take. Those first 20 minutes, like you say, were excellent. Capped by the goal, which yeah. you had a hand in. Yeah. But then to concede straight away, that rocked you back, I think, initially. Yeah, I think, uh, like the gaffer said in uh, in his uh, chat after the game, he says, you know, it sort of knocked the stuffing out of us, which I did, I did sort of believe that. Uh, took the sting out of the game a little bit. I think it was flying up until 1-0. And, you know, obviously a little set piece and it's gone in and the, guy, the lads are... Hanging the reds a little bit, but uh, yeah, it's a shame really. And the second half didn't offer too many chances at either end, and 1 1 looked a bit on the cards. No, yeah, it, it did. Well, to be I say no chances, yeah. but you had one that. Yeah, um, yeah, I sort of opened it out of my feet and it you know, struck the wrong side of the post, unfortunately. Um, but I thought personally for 70 minutes was the better team. Uh, I think we were definitely the better team. Obviously, I've had a few chances. Uh, there's a few chances in the first half and you know if we take them it's obviously a different story but like I say it's a kick in the teeth to concede a sloppy goal so late. And for a player that's not played much over the last two or three months you look very lively at times and that must have pleased you. Yeah uh, I thought I did well out there today. Uh, I was very very surprised at how well I held up. My legs obviously not playing for a couple of months now um, but yeah I'm happy with that and the more and more game time I get the happier I'll be. And your strike partner, who you had good times here with last season, yeah. back in after injury and back doing what he does best. Yeah, he's a, he's a natural goal scorer, there's, there's no doubt about that, and he's a, he's a pleasure to play with. And obviously your teammate, Nat Brown's come with you, put in a real Warriors performance. Yes. It's hard against Ferro because they're very intense with the they way are. they play, and he had a real battle with Denton today. He did, uh, which I thought he relished. I think you know, Denton's got no change out of him whatsoever. Um, out. Before the game, I says he, he, I knew that's the way it'd go because he's such an experienced defender. He knew what he's coming up against, and I uh, thought he did very well. Yeah. And you got pitch to come back now, and that yeah. <laughs> going to be a powerful presence at the back. Very powerful, yeah. Uh, hopefully that you know shores us up a little bit, and we and we don't concede them them little tappings. And a big Easter weekend ahead now, and it really is must win, especially Saturday at home to Brackley. It is, yeah. Uh, like the boy says in there, you know, the only way we can. We can go from this is, is to bounce back with a win Saturday, and that's exactly what we'll do. And for a man like yourself, who we say have been a bit short of game time, presumably minutes on the pitch and a couple of goals if you can, that would personally deliver the end to the season that you want. Yeah, it would. It really would. Um, you know, obviously it's been a stop-start season for me, so I'm hoping to end on a high.